Alrighty, so I have the uh, largest range buoyancy engine running, no problem. Uh, let me switch here. <clears throat> um, and even if I cover this guy up, it doesn't stall. I mean, that's quite a bit of pressure. Um, so this guy's working real good. Um, that's really not what I wanted to show you, but it, it, it smooth as silk. Um, well, it works real well, just put it that way. Um, so I'm just running off of a breadboard here now, but this will go on to something a little bit more uh, compact. So it's just a Pro Mini with a piece of strip board. I'm only going to use like half of the strip board um, to make all the connections. So it'll be a pretty tight little package. Uh, I shouldn't have much trouble fitting it in. Um, so that's just the batteries and so on. What I really wanted to show you is um, this guy. So, big syringe. Figured out. I think I know how to make the big syringe work. Big. I mean, this is gonna be this is gonna be really cool. So I printed a new a plunger replacement. Uh, and when I was printing this, I was thinking I would fill it with um, sand. You know, so got this cavity in here, full of sand. Put a cap on it, and um, and then you know drives back and forth. And I think I could probably get like 50 milliliters. I mean, I've got two inches of travel on this lead screw. Um, so let me just show you my proof of concept that this thing actually works. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to change the direction and screw the camera completely. So here we go. It's moving. <clears throat> and so this is just a proof of concept. It's not real clean. Clearly I don't have a um a servo bracket yet or anything, but it I mean it just drives it. So this is our two inch uh lead screw here. So I could get up to two inches of travel. I'm just gonna kill that. Um, but I think I could actually, so, if I use a smaller servo, um, if I modify one of those purple servos, and fit it on the inside of here, seal up this back end, um, I could fill this, put AAA batteries in there, put four AAA batteries in there, then we got our, our movable mass, um, and this thing could be self-contained, but I guess the first step is just to make a little bracket for this, and put this whole thing inside of a, uh, a water bottle uh, but real big plans for this guy this is this is the second piece I printed I started designing it and I printed this piece um, it works I mean it, it's ugly but this one came out a whole lot prettier I learned some stuff from this guy um, but that's sort of what it looks like on the inside for now uh, gonna change it a little bit and the plan is to actually cut a cavity on the inside of here with a hole it goes through so that the limit switch will go on the inside and when the lead screw comes through this center channel here it'll bump the limit switch then the other limit switch can go um, on this end here and it'll, that one's easy um, so anyway big big plans for this guy can't wait to work on it more um, 